Hey guys, this is Premium Poppy. God bless, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. As you can see, we are at the Forbidden Grounds Altar. And we are going to go talk to the Elder. Because he has something to say to us. What do you gotta say, Chief Gara? So you came, Poppy. Through here is the entrance to the Elder's Lair. Red is the only one to have ever stepped foot beyond this point. Nobody knows what lies in wait for you inside. Knowing that, will you still proceed to the Elder's Lair? Yes, we will. We'll take on the challenge. Then go. See for yourselves what this place holds. That is right, guys. We are going to be doing the Elder's Lair. Um, I've been, po I've been, I've been putting this off for a few episodes because the Elder's Lair is a very difficult task, and unless you have the proper levels you are not going to have a fun time. So, let's actually keep going and... Ah, look! There's a Cadavan stand up there. Want to check it out? Yeah, why not? There we go. Alright, let us go talk to this, this feline and see what it has to say. Z1 Watchpaw. Well, bless my tails and whisker, my tail and whiskers. You smell just like a, our steamed meowster. Perhaps you know him. I see. It would appear more time has passed since he left this place than I per I per I previously thought. This is a land. This is a land forbidden to your people. In the final zone awaits a, a meowster that powers transcends regions. Only those who have passed the necessary trials may walk beyond this point. That was the promise I made him. Aha. Uh -huh. First zone trial. Slay the target monsters. If you wish to proceed to the next zone, you must per prove you are capable. Looks looks like we've got we're not getting any further until we take out these monsters. That is right, folks. So, as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six different monsters we gotta hunt in this uh, first layer. After we hunt these monsters, we'll be all set. Uh, but before we do that, there's one thing I actually want to do as you can see we are now in ruto village we are actually going to go over here to enna you know everyone thought you looked so much like red when i first brought you back to ruto they all loved red you see although i'd, they'd, I'd have to say they'd grown pretty, pretty fond of you too we're gonna part ways with enna right now i'd be waiting here so come talk to me anytime grandfather and alwyn are looking forward to seeing you too so we are actually going to leave enna behind because technically they did say that no no one is allowed to come in here except for us and our grandfather to the Elder's Lair. So, let's get back to the Elder's Lair. Alrighty, guys. We made it to the Elder's Lair. Alright, let's hop right on and let's get going. It's been a while since we haven't had uh, Enna with us. So, it looks very strange, you know, for us to be alone. It feels very different, indeed. So, actually, what I'm going to do, we're going to switch over to Thy Lump. I have yet to find a... Um, a uh, silver one Narcacuga. As I said, I've been so busy the last couple days with work. I barely had any time to record. And I've just been so drained. i just been wanting to sleep, wake up, work, come back. Although work is very fun, I have to admit. So, um, we have to slay the specified monsters. There are quite a few of them. And it looks like the first one is a, a Durambra uh, Durambro or something like that. So let's get right into this. Let us hunt this monster. But it, uh, give me one moment. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on, come on. I'm I apologize. I'm actually um There we go. Okay. Durham Barrows. That's the monster we were hunting. I'm trying to I was trying to figure out the name. So let's get right into this, folks. Durham Barrows. And it's a high rank Durham Barrows, so we gotta be very careful with this monster. We're using the great sword. I thought it'd be pretty cool um to switch it up a little bit. Not really sure what we're gonna be expecting, so. 764 damage. I like it. Let's go again. So, when fighting this guy, um, the the body is weak against the hammer, the legs are weak against the sword and the shield, and the great sword, and the tail is weak against the hammer as well. So, keep that noted. Alright, let's go again. We're going to go after the... Well, let's go after the legs. Why not? We are getting all sorts of hits off this thing. This is one of, like one of the few times I've used a great sword uh, out of the game, and I'm still trying to figure out how this thing works. Um, I don't want you using 
Actually, no, I don't want to ride our monster unless we absolutely need to. So instead, what I'm going to do, we're going to use Mud Splash on you. Um, let me switch out to the Astalo Smasher. Uh, Durham Barrows is weak to fire and because he, he is a non-elemental hit uh, hitter, so keep that noted. There we go. We've oh, all right. Durham Barrows is very mad, so he's going to be a power type now. When he's not enraged, he he's weak against speed, and when he is uh, enraged, he is weak against uh, uh, regular attacks. So I'm gonna switch out to Teostra because he is a he has a fire attacks. So um, I would use the the Vorpal uh, Ice Fort, but I actually want to switch back to the the Rose because you know it's a fire weapon. So let's go after the leg. We're definitely going to knock this guy down, which is always good for us. Look at that. Oh, we knocked him down. Beautiful. Absolutely a stunning sight for sore eyes. Okay, let's go again. Uh, actually, you know what? All right, let's do a regular charge tackle. Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you... Uh... Okay, that makes sense. So that's how you level up the, uh, oh, tippy tappy time. I was trying to figure out how to, um, charge our greatsword, but I figured that out, so. Um, let's go with a, nope, I want to go with a speed charge. I, I guess I can't. Okay, I'm okay with that. We're getting lots of damage off this guy. So it seems we can only use a charge tackle one time before we have to switch out to a different move. And the moves get more and more um, costly. So I'm just going to use a charge cut. Once I learn the great sword, I think it's going to be a lot better. It's going to be easier. So, ooh, supernova. Wow. Doing a lot of damage with this thing. Barely taking any damage, too. So I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, now that our greatsword is fully charged, we gotta use the true wide slash. Oh, I get it. So it's like in stages. Charge tackle, charge cut, and then a wide slash. So let's do that. I like it. That's really cool. Okay, now I'm learning the greatsword. This is, this is nice. I'm excited. Wow. There we go. Duraburos is uh, Durambaros is defeated. <laughs> Way to go. So the Elder's Lair um, is very effective when you level up. Um, the first few layers, you want to level up your monsters as much as you can. I didn't do that, and I spent way too much time leveling up on my own <laughs> without the Elder's Lair. So don't do what I did. Just come to the Elder's Lair and level up. It'll be very effective. So let's head on to the next monster. There's a Pookie Pookie over there. Not what I'm looking for. The next one is a Mitsuzene. So, that's pretty nice. Alright, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know, by now, or around this time, um, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak should be releasing. So, that's gonna be pretty cool. Give me a moment, I'm actually looking up, you know... Um, okay, so, Mitsu, uh, is, how do you pronounce that? Mitsutsune, Mitsutsune, I, I, I give up, okay, anyway, we have to use a, yeah, we gotta use a, uh, a, a power type move, because this guy is weak to power types, so, and we snuck up on him, which is good for us, we're gonna use a charge tackle. So, uh, Mitsuzene, the uh, body and the legs are weak to the sword and the shield, the great sword, and the hammer. Or the hunter horn. The tail, however, is weak against the bow and arrow, or the gun lance, or equivalent. So, keep that noted. Let's go again. Man, we're getting all sorts of damage off on this thing. I love it. Don't you just love bewitching bubbles? I know I do. Not as much damage as I thought. 
and it's mad. So when it gets enraged, we need to switch out to a technical type. I still really hate that Valkana we fought. That was a, such an annoying fight. That Valkana used speed moves and was a speed type. Whereas our Valkana is a technical type. Not fun. Not fun at all. Oh well. Uh, you know what? Let's just use a technical attack. There we go. I love it. I love it so much. Alright. Alright, let's use the, uh... True Wide Slash. Yep. It's enraged, so it's going to be a technical type. Man, it's a lot of damage. I love it. And Diamond Wave. Nice. Man, this, uh... I'm going to call it Mitsu. Yeah. The Mitsu is getting utterly decimated. Oh, bless, uh, Breath Blast. We're winning that. Oh yeah, I love it. We're doing very, very well. Not gonna lie. And we're making pretty good time. Only around 11 minutes and we're already two monsters in. I mean, I did cut a little bit, so... There's that. Oh yeah. Gotta get that hit off. I love it. Man, I love how Valkana just freezes everything. It reminds me so much of World uh, Iceborne. Excuse me. It's just so cool, you know? Dang. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. There we go. Mits uh, Mitsuzene. 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 Mitsuzene? I don't know. I, I still can't pronounce it. How the heck do you pronounce that thing? At least you're going to be able to make the uh, Mitsuzene armor. Or Mitsu armor. I, I can't. Man, it's so difficult to pronounce. Man, I ah, uh, I I don't know. I don't. I just I I can't say. I I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, let me use some health items too. As I said, guys, I've been so busy leveling up my uh, not leveling up my monsters, but you know, getting items and money and uh, look at this. Look at all this. Yeah, I I've been busy. I've been I've been so busy. It's like I've I've been doing so much work and stuff, so I haven't been able to record. But in the time that I did have, I um. Ah, don't we have a monster that can help us out? We do, but I'm not going to use that. I, as I said, I've been so busy with work and stuff, I haven't had much time to record or play this game. But in the time that I did have, I spent a lot of my time um, grinding for gear and for items. Because I, I, I needed it. Ooh, a Rathalos. Hey, that's where the Rathalos went. Oh, okay, that is uh interesting combination. Very interesting. There's Azure Rathalos and a Pink Rathian. I'm saving that for later. Um, I'm definitely saving that for last. I, I don't want to have to deal with that. Not right now. And I just got out of a battle with a Rathalos. I accidentally hit. But I, I just realized, you know what? We can actually quick we can quick finish these ba some of these battles. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, let's head right in here. There's going to be another monster. I will say we can't quick finish all the battles, but we can quick finish some, so... Maybe it's a Rathalos we can actually quick finish. Maybe. I don't know. Let's check. Yep, it is. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> there we go. And the next monster we hunt is a Ivory of Gyacris. Alright, let's get going. Here we go. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope, nope, nope. Here we go. Alright, we need a technical type, but let's get right behind this guy. I want to be able to sneak up on him if I can. Right, let's see. Yeah, let's stick with Eliaska. So, Ivory, Ivory Legayakris is a speed type starting out, so we need to use technical attacks. Um, which I actually will use the technical charge tackle. Um... Ivory, Le Ivory Legayacris' back is weak against uh, the sword and the shield, or the great sword. The body is weak against any blunt weapons, like the um, hunting horn or hammer. And the tail is weak against the bow and arrow, or 
Ah, uh, the Gunlands, I believe. Uh, let's... Uh, let's use our next skill right there. There we go. The armor we have on is the um, Azure Rathalos armor. It allows us to sometimes um, retain our charge attacks, which is going to be very, very vital to using the greatsword. Which I'm a fan of. Okay, now that it's enraged, it's going to be weak against speed types. Can we use any speed moves? Yes, we can. Eh, we gotta use a regular speed move, so that stinks for us, but I'm okay with that. Oh, amazing. Alright. Let's go again. Oh yeah, get that double attack. Absolutely beautiful. Um... Now let's go again. I mean, we're not taking a lot of damage, which I'm pretty happy about. I guess it's just learning the monsters that's really going to help you. Uh, let's ride Elieska, and I'm actually going to use a another speed attack. Head-to-head -head win. When it's charging up and it has its electric charge um, activated, make sure to use a power attack, because that's going to be your best chance. You know, I gotta admit, it feels pretty good to be able to use the true ride slash. Look at all that damage. That is just so much. I love it. And we broke the back. There we go. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Um, let's start charging up our attack again. Come on, come on, come on. You know, it's raining out right now. It's, uh... It could be a nicer day. I've been taking care of someone's uh, house, and... By the time I head back to my place, it's, um... It's getting... It's raining quite a bit, you know. That's... I've been taking care of, uh, someone's house, and as I said, I... When I do come home, that gives me time also to play some games. And just relax, but... Alongside work, and... Taking care of someone else's place, it gets busy, you know? I thank the Lord for every moment I have to be alive. It's... It's stunning. He works in mysterious ways, and it's incredible how how he works. Not a day goes by that I don't thank him for what he has done for me. I don't deserve the grace and mercy that I have. I'm human, just like everyone else. I, I've messed up. I've made mistakes, but through all the trials and tribulations that I face, the Lord is always good. And look at that. Speaking of good, Ivory, Ivory Legiacris has been defeated. And we are just getting the levels. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, let's head on to the next monster once we find it. Yeah, after we get out of here. Man, it's raining a lot. I think that's a little bit of thunder, too. Wow. Alright, guys, we are almost there. Alright, it looks like it is a... Ooh! It's an Astalos. Okay. Astalos is a technical type, I believe. That way, we are going to use Ratha and head right into this fight. I really hope I'm right about this. Um, is it a technical type? It is, okay. I have a little guide. I've, um... So on the phone, they have this, uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 guide. It's, it's really, really useful. It's, um... It's very handy for completing quests and for finding out what you need to do. It's called the, um... It's for Android. It is called... Monster Hunter Stories 2 Guide. That's literally the title of it. And it's one of the most basic but useful... Uh, tools that I use to actually accomplish the game. We already hunted a uh, high rank Astalos, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Alright. Mm. Another power attack, why not? I mean, we are getting a lot of damage off this thing, and we're breaking the parts quite easily. Oh, well, we gotta attack the wings. So when, uh, so what basically Astalos starts off as a technical type, meaning you want to use, um, power type to take it out. When it's charging up and when it's uh, enraged, you use a speed type. And when it flies, 
you use... Oh, they fly now! Anyway, yeah. When they use, uh... When they're flying, you use technical types. So, keep that noted. Uh, I'm not gonna use my kinship. I have no reason to. There we go. And we knocked Astalus down. Now we're gonna use our kinship skill. Let's go for the, the stomach. So, basically, any blunt weapon is good against the head and the tail. And any slashing weapon is good against the stomach, the tail, and the wings. So that's just a little bit of useful in, uh, information. Also, Astralis is weak against I uh, ice. So, keep that noted. Man. There we go. Astalus got back up, and we're doing an air showdown. I like it. I really do want to find a Silver Wind Rekakuga. It's going to be so useful. Incredibly useful. Alright, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Not too bad. Oof. Alright, let's use a power... Uh, no. I want to charge up our attack. There we go. That's gonna break the part. Oh, yeah. Boom. We're doing excellent. We're doing absolutely stunningly excellent. I love it. Use another attack. A charge cut. There we go. Alright. And then last but not least, let us use the true wide slash. There we go, I love it. And there we go, Astalus has been defeated. Very, very easily, need I tell you. Greysword is not too bad of a weapon. Not gonna lie. The last two we got a defeat. Oh wow, that's it's beautiful out. It's literally sunny and it's raining. Cats and dogs out. That's so cool. Wow, that's awesome. <clears throat> All right, let's go face these two: uh, the king and the queen, or you know, their uh, kids, I should say, or maybe their parents. I don't know. You know, very strange world. So you never know what you might be facing. Come on. Alright, we've made it. Finally. I'm not sure if we're really going to win this, just because, you know, there's one of us versus two of them, so. And I also want to make sure we can sneak up on them, because if we sneak up on them, that's going to give us a chance. I love that Azure Rathalos. I think it's, it has such a cool color. It's not my f I mean, it's, eh, somewhat. When it's for the right lighting, it's cool. Oh, come on. Ah, okay, we... Oh, that's not good. And they're both targeting me. Alright. So, Azure Rathalos is a... Is a uh, regular power attack monster. Um, it is weak to blunt weapons in the head. And everything else is weak against the tail. Uh, excuse me, it's weak against the... Uh, a slash weapon for the tail. So. Divine Blessing skill activated. That's good. Alright, I do want to switch out to... Um, I want to switch up to Elieska. I don't know why, but I think it's going to be very useful. Alright, let's use a speed move. Against um, Azure Rathalos. That's a win. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's go again. Okay, so let me say this again. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll slow it down just so you guys will understand this. Okay. Azure Rathalos. It's weak to dragon... Um, it's dr to dragon element attacks. Um, it's regular, and when it's angry, both you have to use speed types. Uh, you have to use speed types... Uh, when dealing with the regular and angry form of Azure Rathalos. When it, f when it is flying, use technical attacks, and when it's angry and flying, use power attacks. 
The head is weak against blunt weapons. The body, the tail, and the wings are weak against slashing weapons. Keep that noted. Then, the Pink Rathian, also weak to dragon attacks. And, it's normal, um, non-enraged state, you need to use technical attacks. And when it's enraged, use speed attacks. Then, the body is weak against the um, sword and the shield, or any slash weapon. And the tail is weak against any blunt weapon. So, that's what you need to know about these two monsters. Uh, speaking of which, I'm probably gonna have to use a speed attack myself right now. A cut against the, um, Pink Rathian. So, I just thought I could let you guys know that. I thought it'd be very, very useful information for you. So, or you can just look it up online, you know. Um, I'm gonna use a Mega Potion. I mean, we're not doing too bad, all things considered. We did lose a heart, but we can get that back pretty easily. Eh, you know what, let's ride, um, Eliaska. Kinship skill... I'm gonna use it on... Yeah, I'm gonna use it on you, Pink Rabian. Oh yeah, there we go. I mean... Eliaska is weak to fire attacks, so, so it, it's not good for me, but... Nope. Uh, let me use my skill. Oh, all enemies. <clears throat> I need to save up. Um, which one should I go after? I'll go after this guy. No. Man, those noises are strange. It's very weird to hear. Here we go. Now that's a win. And that's a win for us. And now it's mad. Good thing for us, we are going to use our true wide slash. Come on. Ah, we lost that. Yikes. Yikes. Oh. Air showdown. At least we're not facing a Vulcana. Although I do, I do expect we will have to face one later on. Uh, I spent also time completing some quests that we needed to do. I beat that Nergagante, so that was that was interesting. It was a difficult fight, but it was fun. There we go. All right. Uh, I'm gonna use another healing item. There we go. Not bad. Ooh, a venom sweep. Okay, so they're both enraged, um, and Dejur Rathalus is targeting me. So if that's the case, I'm gonna use a speed attack, which, uh, right here. There we go. True wide slash against the Azure Rathalus. That should hit both targets. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Man. That's a lot of damage. We're doing very well. Oh, this is great. This is actually a really fun fight. It's a fair fight. That's what I should say. It's a very fair fight. It's not overly difficult, but it has that level that you, uh, the level of difficulty that you do need to use healing items and actually... It's fun. This is a really fun fight. I've, I've enjoyed this. I've really, really, really enjoyed this. <clears throat> Elder's Lair, uh, Lair 1, so... Or Floor 1, I'd like to say. Alright, um, so when you're angry, you're gonna use power attacks, so I actually think Elieska. Hate to say this, but I think I'm gonna be switching you out to, uh, to Thy Lump. I just wanna be extra prepared for this. And you're going to use Mud Slap against this guy. I am going to use a power attack against you. Oh yeah. There we go. I did a lot of dam uh, part damage. Alright. 
Let's go again. We just gotta go again. Did that use a technical attack? It did. Okay. That hit hard. It did wipe us out, so... Okay, come on. Oh, this is gonna hurt. We actually lost this. Wow. Okay. It was a fun fight, though. You know what? Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's do this. Oh, boy. Heading all the way back. Ah, oh, never mind. There we go. Azure Rathalu is defeated. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, there we go. One more. There we go. We did it, partner. Who would have thought there'd be so many huge monsters here? Wonder what kind of trials we face next. Only one way to find out, huh? Let's report back to that feline. Let's do it. Let's report back and see what happens. Alright, what do you gotta say to us, little dude? Alright. You took down all those monsters? My, my, you must be a, a descendant of our esteemed meowster. You got that right. My partner's power of kinship is second to none. We'll take on any trial you throw at us. Eight trials remaining. Wow, eight trials. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to leave it off right there, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless. I will see you guys in the next episode.